Benvenuti a tutti! And welcome to Cooking Italian with Amore! I am your host and chef Vince Amore, who is always striving to bring you, my friends, different dishes from all the diverse regions of Italy, always placing great emphasis on freshness, quality, taste, but also the joy, the passion, and the heart of the true Italian kitchen. Come along with me today as we visit the region of Lazio as I prepare one of their classic dishes. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to press that little notification bell so you'll be alerted to our next video. Today, I am preparing Fettuccini alla Carbonara, which derives from Lazio region of Italy, found in the west central part of the peninsula. Fettuccine and a carbonara is a rich and creamy and flavorful and extremely satisfying and it's easy and fast to prepare, which at times, let's admit it, it's a good thing. Let's get right into what we'll need to prepare for this delicious dish. Due to the fact that there is so much personal passion connected with pasta alla carbonara, in regards to Mr. Mori's recipe, there may be some of you exclaiming, This is not true carbonara, or that ingredient is not in carbonara! We at the Colony Global Alert System get it. <clears throat> we believe your host, who let's say is not the sharpest tool in the shed, means no harm, and they're only sharing a widely loved version of both delicious and extremely satisfying. So please, find it in your heart to give this somewhat dim host a bit of a pass and show him your love again. We believe he means well. This concludes the culinary alert. Man, those global alert people really take it seriously. For today's iconic dish, fettuccine alla carbonara, we will need one pound of fettuccine pasta, a little over a half a pound of pancetta, cut in about one eighth inch cubes. Two large egg yolks or three medium egg yolks. A half a cup of heavy cream. One and a half cups of grated pecorino romano cheese. Two cloves of garlic thinly sliced. Extra virgin olive oil, a pinch of ground nutmeg, or nutmeg, and ground black pepper. Now, let's start creating our out of this world delicious dish, fettuccine alla carbonara. Now, I just added about six quarts of water and one tablespoon of salt in a large pasta pot. And I'll give it time to come to a very brisk boil, but in the meantime, let's get started with our creamy carbonara sauce. In a nice sized whisking bowl, whisk together our two to three egg yolks, a half a cup of heavy cream, and whisk. I know, I know, there's some of you that say no way to cream in carbonara, but maybe it's an influence in Northern Italy where the cream is used more commonly. But there are some who add it for richness and for flavor. You can make it with or without. After all, I'm here to make you happy. But for the recipe today, we're gonna add it in. After all, who can disrespect this guy, right buddy? Now, make sure to whisk thoroughly because it's very important that the yolks and the cream dissolve into each other and become homogenous, almost like one. All right, now that the water is briskly boiling. Yeah, Dad, Dad, wake up. Didn't you have something to tell your friends? Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's important, too. Please do not make the mistake I've seen others make time and time again of placing the pasta in the pot too early when it's not briskly boiling. Like my dear mom used to say, l'acqua deve bestemmiando, which means cussing so much it's boiling hot. By putting it too early before the strong boil, 
you run the risk of making your pasta extra starchy and giving it a gooey-like texture. We only want controllable El Dente Pasta. Love you guys. We can add the fettuccine. Today, we're using fettuccine, but if you prefer for alla carbonara, you can also use spaghetti, linguine, or the quite thick bucatini. And if you're a lover of short pasta, rigatoni works well. This is the call me or look guy again. Some of you are probably shouting at the top of your lungs, is this Fitzmore guy really breaking his pasta too? Well, that's blasphemous. That's okay. If you want to put it in hole, put it in hole. After all, this guy doesn't want to. Happy and joyous. It's just during his years of preparing all sorts of pasta dishes, he's found that breaking the pasta not only cooks the pasta more evenly, but it's much more manageable to eat, and still plenty enough for long enough to go around the fork. It's probably a personal preference thing. Oh yeah, make sure to stir. Now, you want to put your burner on about medium and you want to add a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil, not too much, not too much, and get that nice and hot. Now we want to add all our cube pancetta to the nice hot olive oil. Now you can also use guanciale, which is pork jowls. Or if you can't find either one where you are, you can use a thick cut American bacon. After all, you all come from the same animal. Now, over medium to high flame, cook about for five minutes until it gets nice and crispy. And we'll the has right been cooking for about five minutes. It's nice and golden brown. So now it's time to add the sliced garlic. Now remember, for this recipe, minced garlic doesn't work because too much garlic oil is released and doesn't fit well into the good dish. So cook this about one minute more until the garlic becomes golden. Oh. That the garlic is, is nice golden brown. Take it momentarily off the burner and so that the ingredients become one and so we can make sure that the pasta is ready to strain. So turn off and take it off the burner. It's important that before you strain your pasta, take about a half a cup of hot pasta water out, put it in a cup, and leave it on the side. So now that our fettuccine is well strained, with your skillet on low heat, add the fettuccine. Ah, look how gorgeous. Make sure to get it all in there. And with tongs, keep on stirring and tossing until all the pancetta and olive oil and the garlic is well mixed. Pasta alla carbonara has a wonderful story and history behind it. It's said that it was originally prepared for the charcoal workers in the region back in the time as a hearty dish after a hearty day's work. And since it's a combination of creamy, silky, and savory richness, today it's perfect for a cold winter's night dinner, or after a hard day at work, or even after a great workout at the gym. But for me personally, I love it anytime. Now, slowly add half of the saved pasta water, like that. You have to toss it in. Now, you want to add in the whisk egg and yolk cream mixture. Add it in nice. And make sure to always toss until all the creamy mixture is mixed well with the fettuccine. Now at this time, you want to add the remaining saved pasta water. And always tossing. All right, now we're going to add the one cup of pecorino romano. Nice in there. That beautiful. Again, making sure to constantly toss and make it all homogenous. You want to add a pinch, and I mean a pinch, of the nutmeg. And now we have to add 
a little bit of the black pepper. You want to add a, a, a little extra to normal because, it, like I said, it fares really, really well with a creamy sauce. Okay, stir it in. Okay, and you want to make sure all the creamy carbonata sauce is continuously tossed in. It's about four or five minutes. And, whoa, look at this! It's my little buddy Nico! You want a cheap one? You want a cheap one? I got something for you. One second. You want a cheap Nico? You want a cheap one? Whoa, 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 Nico! Whoa, whoa, anybody, anybody! Whoa, Nico! Whoa, I made it, I made it! Okay, now that our fettuccine alla carbonara from the Lazio region of Italy is completely ready, let's go serve and let's go taste. Now, since this is a hearty pasta dish, you really don't need anything else to accompany it. Maybe a nice light salad with olive oil, vinegar, lemon for a little acid, or if you're hardcore, a nice crusty Italian bread to dip into the, the creamy sauce, and of course a glass of wine. Now, for this carbonara, since it's so creamy, a, a, a white wine pairs well. Now, I you can go with a Pinot Grigio, or you can go with a Gaudi, but if you're a huge red wine fan, you have to have red wine, you can go with a, the, the classic Monte, Montepulciano. Now, here we go, let's give it a shot. Looks delicious, man. Really dang good. Mm. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, Belmondo, this is incredible. You have the texture that's so, so creamy and so satisfying. You can taste this, the savory, slightly, slightly crisp pancetta, the bold sharpness of the pecorino, the garlic, which is sliced, the hint of the nutmeg, and the slight, bold, aromatic flavor of the black pepper. Delicioso. Now see, Mr. Culinary Alert Man, what do you think now? Hmm. <clears throat> no comment. Ah, delicious. In fact, this fettuccine alla carbonara is so creamy and, and so delicious, it makes me want to Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, darling, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. It's you alone, my friends, I long for all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. I love this is Vince Amore from Cooking Italian with Amore. Wishing everybody buon appetito. Remember everybody, that's Amore. Ciao a tutti. Fill my heart with sorrow.